it's a pleasure having you again my friends here on we Ledger tech and in this video we'll be looking at rule number four the inverse rule and just to make it a, a bit easier for you I tend to call it the opposite rule okay and I'll soon show you what I'm speaking about now here it states if a base is raised to a negative power you should always place one above the base and the power becomes positive for example here we have a base a raised to a negative m and that is equal to 1 upon a to a positive m. Notice all I did was to just place 1 above the base and the power becomes positive. Okay, guys? And here I have a little note. A little note. This is a nice little trick that I'm just going to be showing you as I go along. To just flip the base and the power becomes positive. Okay, my friends? Now, let's look at some examples. Let's look at a proof before we even start the examples. Okay, Let, let's just look at a common proof. So, I'll just make a quick note here. Proof. Why is it that when a base is raised to a negative power, all we simply do is to place one above the base and the power becomes positive? Let's look at that. Let's say I had a base A, rather. Let's say I had a base A all squared and that is being divided by a base A raised to the fourth power to the fourth power okay now basically based on what we have learned before and if you are not sure you could always go back to the videos to watch um, the videos on rule number two when dividing indices of the same base I'm just simply going to get into it we know that we should subtract the powers here so we have two minus four okay my friends and that would be equal to a and 2 minus 4 that will leave us with a negative 2 okay so basically that's what we would have gotten there now we could always work this out another way that we have learned from earlier lessons in indices that we have been doing or exponents this is this is simply saying a times a okay and this is a second method that we are using this is a second method okay so what this is saying a square is the same as a times a and this is dividing we're just simply dividing a times a is multiplying itself four times in the denominator so this is really a times a times a times another a okay so the if you notice I have four a's down here hence a to the fourth so really this is equal to we could just simply cancel out a into itself goes once and that would cancel that a down there and a into itself up top also goes once and that would cancel that a there if you notice what we have in our numerator left over my friends I have one times one which is really one upon and in my denominator I have if you notice I have two a's leaving in my denominator so that's a common base a which I'm going to rewrite and since it's two a's multiplying we can just simply square that so if you notice it's the same problem I use two different methods to work and if you notice in the first case I got up top here and let's just write it on the side here I got for my answer a to the negative 2 okay and if you notice when I worked it out another way my answer that I got is really is also 1 upon a to the positive 2 okay now if you should make a comparison if you notice here the power was negative and the power is 2 and in the second case when I work it out when I place 1 above it the power is now positive okay my friends so a neat little trick that i'm going to show you as it relates to this piece of information that i have placed here the note that i have placed right here if you notice my friends um initially we had a to the negative 2 so if we have a to the negative 2 a to the negative 2 it is kind of you can look at it as a to the negative 2 upon 1 okay and all we did we just flip this okay so in flipping it what we what we got out of that we got the when you flip this the one will come at the top and then the a to the 2 will go at the bottom but now the 2 is positive okay so that's basically what we did all right you just flip it that's what we're saying here now having having gone through all of that let's just look at some quick activities now to just bring this out a bit more clearer okay so let's look at example number one okay my friends so example number one let's say we had three to the negative four okay and that is equal to what we're saying the power is negative so we're just going to place one upon three to the positive four okay and leaving our answers well here it states in the instructions that we should calculate the value of the following so in this case now if you notice in earlier videos um, we have been leaving our answers in index form but since it states it states that we should calculate the value of 
then we are going to have to simply say this is one upon oops that's ugly this is one upon and I'm just gonna change the color uh, this is saying three times three times three times three so three is multiplying itself four times so three threes that's nine uh, nine times three that's 27 27 times three that's 81 so really what we have here is one upon 81 okay my friends so when asked to calculate the value as we are doing here we have to just work it out okay that's basically it now so really that answer is one upon 81 let's look at another one quickly in part two let's look at part two quickly here they have given us let me use a white here they have given us two thirds let's say two up or let's say two fifths two fifths i'm just doing making this these up as we go along so just bear with me let's say two fifths raised to the negative two okay now basically since it's the and i'll just pull this up a bit since it's the inverse rule the opposite rule and as we have stated before you simply just flip it and 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 the power becomes positive okay my friends now since we have a fraction working with here let's get back to this since we have a fraction working here what i simply going to do i'm just going to flip my fraction okay hopefully you're seeing that i can just flip my fraction to say okay then this is five upon two instead of two upon five and when i flip my fraction the power becomes positive okay my negative two now becomes positive because i have flipped the fraction so this is really saying uh it, what i really have here is five squared so i'm saying five times five all upon two squared which is two times two okay and really what we would got what we what we get out of that is five fives would give me a 25 upon two twos that would give me a four and this can also be simplified to say four into 25 would go six times remainder one upon four which is a quarter and that would be our answer since they had asked us to calculate okay since they have asked us to calculate the value of the following now let's look at a few more quick examples before we go just to give you a general idea as to what is happening all right let's just go over here let's just split the screen here now here we have for example we have a m m all upon 4 n 4 n and this is example number three 4 n and this is all raised to the power the negative negative four okay my friends well negative three let's change that to negative three now really what we have here since we have a fraction again i hope you're getting the general idea what is what is what i'm gonna do i'm just going to simply flip my fraction okay so i'm just going to say flipping my fraction i would get four n upon m okay and when i flip my fraction my power becomes positive okay so i have a positive three working with there now okay so basically what this is saying this is simply saying now and you have to pay special attention to this because this is saying four to the one okay and this is saying n to the one okay my friends so really this is saying four is multiplying itself three times and n is multiplying itself three times okay so this is saying four times four times four okay and the n is multiplying itself three times also so this is saying let's just change the color multiplied by n times n times n and that's what i have in my numerator and that is all upon and let's just quickly get this out of the way this is all upon m is multiplying itself three times also so this is m times m times m okay and we're just simply gonna be left with four fours that will give us a 16 16 times four that will give us a 64 so here we would have a 64 and we have a common base n and if you notice we are multiplying the power so we're just simply this is n to the one that's n to the one also that's n to the one so let's add the powers okay this is one plus one two two plus one that would give us a three so that's n to the three all upon and we have a m times m times m so we have a m to the three also because the power of m in the denominator 
we have a one there, a one there, and a one there also. Okay, so this would be our answer, my answer, my friends. Uh, given this this problem that they ask us to calculate or simplify in this case okay now hope that these lessons were useful feel free to leave us a note if you're still not clear and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye